Are you still a newbie when it comes to watercolors? Me too, don't worry. Today uh, we will do something different. We've tried salt and I have seen people using salt, but I was passing my stones today and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna chance it and try it and see whether my stones will create some sensational uh, effect for me or not. Will there be, will there be a big help to make some mixed media a watercolor background or will that be just nothing special? Uh, we are about to find out this uh, together. Um, if you have some stones, work away. If you have some other elements, work away as well. Try and see what would work uh, good. Uh, you never know. You never know. Don't be afraid to experiment. Our page is dry and look what is gonna be revealed. Mm, two seconds. That may be <laughs> that may be handy. A little funnel, I think funnel or tunnel. Anyway. Wow! Oh my gosh! Ah, still some parts are wet. I should better dry that. But look at those amazing the white spots the little elements where the color and the water and the pigment didn't go and it created this amazing like a blanky looking it's sensational it's absolutely sensational and it looks completely different to the salty one because the salty one it's still colored and it's just very delicate which this you have bigger and smaller and depends on the crowds uh, of the of the stones i hope you f will find this inspirational and i hope you will try it and enjoy it for yourself and test it and let me know what do you think about it i would love to hear from you and if you make something be f be, be sure to share it with me tag me uh, use hashtag marami small art and also uh, please do feel free uh, share this video with your crafty friends uh, if you think it's uh, nice and uh, fun for them to see it thank you so much for your time for watching and I hope uh, I will chat to you super soon bye bye bye